going on? How y'all doing? Well, y'all know I'm a Miami Heat fan, and I had to listen to the pregame show where Charles Barkley was saying, I guarantee, I, and this was a must win for Miami. He got that part right. Oh, did he get that part right? The game is another quarter. It's over. Boston ain't coming back tonight. They look like they waved in the white towel. They threw the flag in. The fraud that is Jason Tatum. Jalen Brown ain't show up. Al Horford was trying to talk to him. They just can't mess with that Miami onslaught. Miami is like that bully that comes to collect breakfast, lunch, and your bus fare Monday through Friday and is going to give you a bloody nose, too. Just punching them up. Just beating them up. Jimmy Butler is having a respectable night. He ain't got to do much because Duncan Robinson and Gabe Vincent, Gabe Vincent just went off. But, you know, I'm going to tell you how I knew this game was over was Kevin Love. He scored the, scored the first five points before he got hurt. But he was hitting, and I was like, oh, yeah, he got it. It was something about somebody that's like, they got it. Bam, hanging all on the rim, just bamming all on them. Duncan Robinson posting up backdoor cuts. I mean, they just outplaying them, out hustling them, out playing them. I will tell you something, and I'm not, and you know, Tyler Hero's a good player, can shoot. However, is that a blessing in disguise? It's almost like he got hurt, and they found their offense in a real way, because they didn't turn into a whole different team minus Tyler Hero. That ball is spreading, Max Strom going off. I mean, they are playing team ball. That's why I think they're going to be scary in the finals. Oh, yeah, you can go ahead and count, book the flight to Denver now. Ain't no comeback. Boston looks like they can't wait to get back home. Uh, it was a party in South Beach or wherever they are. Um, Jason Tatum, when I say fraudulent, yeah, he put some nice numbers and all that, but he ain't no Larry Bird. He ain't no Paul Pierce. He ain't no Kevin McHale. He ain't no Robert Parrish. He ain't no John Havlicek. He ain't no Dave Collins. He ain't no Bill Russell. He don't have that it. They're missing you. Doka is their coach. There's no respect. Their defense sucks. They soft. They getting outplayed. They shouldn't even wear them jerseys. And... You know, they just look pathetic. They look, they were embarrassing. You're seeing it. I am so glad. <laughs> I got a buddy of mine who was hoping for the Lakers and the Celtics. And I said, yo, if less the referees get involved in it and some tag, that ain't going to happen. Because the two best teams are Miami and Denver. And they ain't even close. But this one is more of a shocker the way Miami then shocked it more than Denver and L.A. Because Denver was number one seed. And you could see the Nuggets, you know, they didn't get much coverage. They show things, but you ain't see Miami coming like this. You know Jimmy Butler in the postseason is another animal, but Eric Sposter deserves credit. The the Heat look like they just keep sending out fresh legs left and right. It's like they just keep bringing more legs. Boston is worn out, can't keep up, can't get the shots to drop. They're getting looks. They look lethargic. Their defense is terrible. Joe Mazzula is a good coach. He ain't a great coach. You do this a year or two more, you'll be out of there. But I don't care. Because the Celtics ain't the Celtics have been the bridesmaid in the East. Aside from getting to the finals last year, which was an accomplishment, because I always say at least a runner up is better than nothing. They have been doing the same duo for seven years, six, seven years, and they just don't have that dude. That's the problem. If they had that dude to go along with Tatum and Brown, then they would be scary. But the lead on them two, Mm-mm. and this is the flattest I've seen them look like a pancake. I told you Miami's more dangerous this year as an ace, you know, uh, lower seed as they as they are as an A seed than they were last year when they were top seed. Go figure. But he culture come up, he nation came up. They're busting them cakes, and it is hilarious. So between Boston and LA, y'all might want to make a trade. Hmm. Because if you could inject some guard play out to the Lakers and inject some size to the Celtics inside, <laughs> y'all might have some. But both of y'all going to be watching on TV real, real soon. But vacation about to start real, real soon. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome, thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch them for another. Share the view if you want to. And for once, give Coach Eric Spost to his due. Because this man has been consistent. This team regrouped, came back, showed the heart, showed the moxie, showed the toughness. And they're out playing a team that on paper is more talented. But let me tell you something. We don't do paper. We do reality because paper is what it is. And paper goes down the toilet too or the trash. And that's where the Celtics are right now. I'm out.